Okay, hello and welcome everybody back to another Aviation Nation channel video. Today we'll be talking about how to use your Reverb G2 or any Make sure all the headset that requires Steam VR without Steam VR. Um, I saw a big performance boost from this. I had a higher resolution setting with a lot more frames. I used to run 80% res, so I think it was in the 29 by something, and used to get 30s, high 30s. Now I'm running 90% at uh, 40s to 45 per eye in multiple servers. So it's really worth it to, to just go through this very quickly. I'll put this guide in the description so you can follow along with me as well, but the guide, as long as you follow it, um, works. So the first thing to do would be to clean your DCS. Okay, and the way I clean mine as I just go to my windows here, DCS, just type it in. For me, it pops up as repair. If it doesn't pop up here, you can probably find it in your program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS, World, uh, bin, bin folder. It should be in there as well, I believe, but mine shows up here. I just I did a clean repair, found some files, deleted what I didn't need, and then you can carry on. Uh, next, I won't be using OVGME because for me it didn't work, so I'm going to do it the manual way, but OVGME is a mod manager. If you'd like to use it, you can go right ahead and see if it works for you. Uh, but number two, download the release of Open Composite here. So you're going to click on this link, it'll pop you up here, and you're going to download this right here where my mouse is pointing. O uh, o uh, wow, I can't even <laughs> read. OCXRWMRACC. Okay, you click that, you download zip, and uh, you'll need something like WinZip or WinRAR or something to unzip it. It comes zipped, you'll have to unzip it. Okay, we'll get to that a bit later. Replace opencomposite.ini with one attached or edit your own. You need to bottom lines to mouse to work correctly. So um, for this, what I did, uh, so I brought up, you got to get to your program files, uh, DCS. For most people, it's local C, program files, and then you'd see Eagle Dynamics here. Mine's actually on my D drive, so mine's not going to be here, but it'd be, it'd be usually for most people, C, program files, Eagle Dynamics, DCS world. Uh, mine is D drive, open world beta, uh, and then you'd go to your bin folder. Okay, and I'm going to pretty much drag and drop. Let me see if I can do this kind of nicely here. I would take these three, drag and drop in here and replace the files that are there. I'm not going to do it because I already did mine, but uh, you should, once you do this, you should see all these three file names in this folder, in your bin folder. Okay, now once that's done, you're going to open up your mixed reality uh, window settings or this little thing here at the top I don't know what it's called <laughs> see more at the bottom and then settings okay um, startup and desktop you're going to make sure that the automatic startup just make sure everything's unclicked just for ease of use uh, that's it for this we can close that we can minimize that okay step five download release of open xr developer tools for for windows okay so for this you're going to go to your Windows tab, Microsoft Store, and search OpenXR, all one word, in the store area, and you should find this, OpenXR Tools for Windows Mixed Reality. You download it, you open it, and it would pop up a window like this. Make sure the Use Latest Preview of OpenXR Runtime is on. Advanced Settings. Um, I have custom render scale of 90%, so that's about, it's just under 3,000 per eye, something like that. I uh, forget the res numbers along with that, but I use 90. It works for my headset, it works for my computer. I'll put my specs down in the description as well if you're concerned with what I have. Uh, motion reprojection, this I'm still battling between what I want. For Right now I have an automatic and it seems to be working nicely, so I might just leave it an automatic. Um, that's it for this. Okay, we'll close this or minimize that. And Okay, and then Close Steam VR. It's not ready closed. Don't launch it. Don't even look at it. <laughs> okay, so don't even open Steam VR anymore. Okay, and uh, and it won't open by itself because if you remember, we set it not to in our startup settings. Okay, so it shouldn't open Steam VR at all right here. This one, make sure that's unchecked. Okay, recalibrate your headset by clearing the environment and realigning uh, via mixed reality. So to do that. You go back here, say more settings. Uh, it should be environment, and you can clear data just like that. It's going to clear your room data because the reverb actually starts to memorize where you are, and sometimes it can actually get a little buggy. So every every couple of months, I actually do this anyways, um, and then you just recalibrate it. Okay, 
uh, and nine open uh, enjoy open xr with dcs so that's just how to get it not working with steam vr and it already gets performance boost there's something other that i might make a later video called open xr toolkit which looks like this and um you can enable fsr you can change your uh resolution and sharpness and stuff that's all done through in game so i'll quickly explain it here and I'll tr i'm trying to work out how to record it but uh, i'll quickly explain how it works basically you just open up your game you start up even in the main menu and then for me it, it by default it's control f2 but i just changed it all to one two three and four you open the game make sure enable experimental settings is on all right you're in the game you're in vr you hit control 2 it's going to pop up a window in your vr headset and you can actually go through that window with uh, control 1 2 3 and 4 the, the buttons mapped here whatever you have mapped here you can go through that window and change performance settings in game uh, and i'll leave a link to download this as well it's pretty self if you, if you can do all those other steps uh, this is not too hard to install uh, and to get working uh, there's probably a video already out there. I just uh, I need to find a way to record the headset itself. I'll probably do some mirroring and then get that. But uh, and you can so that's how you can mess with that in game. Uh, but I hope this was helpful. I hope you get a better performance. If you don't, um, you just reverse the steps. Uh, you can always save a backup file of the before you put that stuff in your bin. You can always back it up and all that stuff. Um, for me, I've had nothing but uh, but performance increase. So I hope you've enjoyed that and. Um, I'll leave my uh, Discord link down below to join if you have any questions on that. I'll leave all the links. I'll leave my specs. And if you'd like DCS um, settings that I have as well, just pin me a, send me a comment and I'll, I'll post those as well. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.